Saw something, maybe. Movement along the tree line. Big jungle over there, eh? The door moved. I don't see anything. Damn it. All right, everyone. False alarm. But keep an eye out. Let's go. And the gang's all here. Welcome back, friends. We're on part two of chapter 13. This is crushing difficulty. So which one of them did they spot? And I am excited because we're finally getting into some action again. We've had quite a lot of story build up. Puzzle solving. And all kinds of other things. But very little action so far in the game, so. I am happy about that. And so much for stealth. I saw you. I want your pair of 45. Well, thank you for the grenade. Where's the other one? Oh, crap. What happened to that guy? Oh, he's still there. Oh, there's two. Oh. That was pretty lucky of me. He did get killed by the grenade that landed a foot in front of him, huh? I'm about tired of you, buddy. All right, come on now. Nah, I don't want the Faza. Faza is only good at very, very close range. Within that range, it's just, it's ridiculously good. But outside of that, you gotta you know you gotta understand what you're what you're working with, you know. And I got two buddies coming on the left side, and at least one. No, what? Well, that's four. Uh, looks like five buddies. All right, five buddies. I would have been nice to catch both of them with that. Oh God. I thought I was kind of covered. Let's just run back to the beginning until they lose interest. The music has changed. So I'm going to hope that they are no longer on my ass. I might as well take the Faza now. No pair of ammo. Holy crap. Alright, we're doing alright. Oh, grenades. And para. I'm gonna try to advance a bit. Let's, let's stick to the high ground, though. It's uh, it's almost as hard to see them in this jungle as, as it's probably for them to see me if I'm doing it right. Okay, we got this guy. Stalking down the path on the left. Well, I guess I can go down that way. And I saw a laser sight, so they have a sniper. Oh, okay. Let's not give myself away just yet. 
That guy's holding an HS on the right. No sign of him. Anything? Nothing. Check over there. I got this side. Yeah, okay. No. Whoop. Where's your friend? Man down, man down. How did you possibly see that that dude was down? Screw you! Whoa! Ah, uh, that's a condor. <laughs> Just fire into the bushes. Whatever works. I know it was ridiculous. I wasn't doing enough damage to kill, but I didn't want to keep it anyway. Is that a brute? Why do you hate me, Uncharted, when I love you so much? Damn! I gotta get out of here. We gotta calm these guys down. I can see where they're coming from from here, maybe. Nathan, Jake, why? Why in the world? Okay, so I've got a brute absolutely losing his shit who can see me through walls and a sniper who can see me through walls. Me from there, and of course, they know exactly where I am. Okay, I just need them to lose me for a second here. Okay, my heart's slowing down some. All right, let's climb back up. Isn't it? Yeah, we go. Let's get back to our good spot there. No, I'm not gonna pop up right there, and they'll definitely see me. And there, too, for that matter. Alright, okay. Okay. Let's see how this goes. They don't seem to notice me. There's that sniper. And very convenient Mettler. The 
for this brute day. I'm not gonna screw around with this brute. We're gonna go. Is that this still the brute out there losing his shit? I see three corpses. There's something back there. That's still the brute! Holy shit! Or maybe there was two brutes. Literally shooting me through rocks. Oh, dude with a grenade launcher, no fucking way. All right. Come on, come on. Alright, we've regained our element of stealth here. The biggest threat is going to be the homeboy with the grenade launcher. Is it this one? He's done. Alright. Let us await patiently. You see, the, the chat's cheating ass AI, man. They can clearly shoot through walls. They can see through walls and shoot through walls. No question. Uh, we're back to pretty full clip here, too. Look, look, that guy's not even, like, in my, in the correct line of sight. Look at this. Man, I'm not in a good spot here, either. Okay, he's lost me. Let's take some pot. Does this helmet off? Alright, turn around. Okay, kill the brute. Please don't let there be another bastard over here. It looks like it's nothing but a slide to death, so I'm gonna jump right here. I'm not gonna lie, team, that was intense for a minute there. Fourteen sniper brutes and a grenade launcher. They load me up again. We may have some more action before we move on. Let's see what kind of ammo I can get from down here. I don't want a copperhead. All right, let's get back up top. Man, that's exciting. Sometimes crushing mode can be like ripping your hair out. But that feeling of accomplishment is for real. Where am I going?
Okay. Oh, you know it's not over. Oh, they won't let me draw. Okay. Where to? Nope, they won't let me... Okay, wait, no, I can't draw. That was odd. To whom finds this note, know that Jonathan Burns. Wow, that is pretty. No regulator. Seems like Burns' crew had about as much luck as me with this treasure. That guy got capped right in the forehead. <laughs> oh, Jesus! No, 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 no. <laughs> Wow. Holy shit. My brother. I nearly shot your head off. Sam. You're okay. Yeah. Nothing I can't walk away from. It's good to see you're alive, little brother. Come on. We got a treasure to find. Hold up, man. I mean, what are we doing? What do you mean? I mean, our supplies are at the bottom of the Indian Ocean. Okay, so we go steal some from Nadine's army. Yeah, and there's that. We're going up against an army. We've been holding our own so far. While being marooned in the middle of nowhere. We were trying to get here, remember? When we had an escape plan. Just hear me out. Crazy suggestion. Let's go down there and at least secure one of Rafe's boats. The boats can wait. <laughs> you want to know what we're doing here? We are buying my life back. Okay, and we're going to do that by stepping into that jungle and finding the battalion. Have you even seen any signs of a massive pirate colony? Because I sure the hell haven't. It's a little late to start developing doubts, don't you think? But can we at least acknowledge the chance that maybe Avery's idea for a secret pirate utopia didn't pan out? <laughs> and maybe we're just swept up in this fantasy when instead we should be looking for a real way to save you. I'm gonna scour this island inch by inch if I have to until I find that treasure. Now, if you're confused about what you're doing here, then you can go home, Nathan. Wait, wait, wait. I can go home? Are you kidding me? Do you have any idea what I put on the line to get you here? About what I put on the line, okay? The last 15 years of my this life. This has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with that. What? Holy crap. <laughs> Convenient. You still want to go home? Let's just see what else we can find. What is this, though? I right, screwed up, all Sam. I'll be damned. Off to a good start. Yeah, let's just hope the rest of it isn't buried under centuries of dirt and rock. Glass half full, if you please. You know, it's interesting that the the way the story just. Oops, okay, has changed over the years. In the past, it was also it was always Nathan Drake dragging people into shit they didn't want to do. They were always the ones casting doubt on him, and he was always the one proving them wrong. And now he finds himself on the opposite side of things, realizing what he's got to lose for a change. That's some pretty good storytelling, man.
Sam, up here. I'm coming. Well, no one's home. This place has seen better days, huh? Yeah, the roof could use some work. Let's just hope it doesn't come down on our heads. Sam, this way. Ah, yeah, that's not happening. Hey, Nathan. I think there's a way through here. This way, Nathan. All right, team, I got a gentleman outside who's decided that now is the exact time that he needs to go ahead and use a leaf blower outside my window. So I'm going to mute myself for a little bit so you guys don't get that feedback. Well, all this crawling is a good workout for my quads. <laughs> Look at this place. This is no straw hut. Yep, some honest-to-God masonry in here. Well, where those masons come from? I mean, your average ship might have some good carpenters among them, and coopers, but not masons. Man, I right, what do you give for a camel? Well, we have one. Serious? Yeah, yeah. It's on the boat with the rest of our stuff. Oh, thanks. Huh. Come on. Oh, feels good to stretch out again. Yeah, you said it. Hey, there's a way out. Uh, it's too high, even for a boost. Let's, uh, let's find something to stand on. Or maybe use those, you know, ropes you have attached to your hips. Great, I got an idea. Here we go. Heads up! All right, we're in business. You're gonna want to see this. Wow, indeed. That's awesome looking. Houses, wide street. Clearly a commercial district of some kind. Yes, thank you for that, Nathan. Come on. What do you see? You just want to hear me say it, don't you? I really want to hear you say it. All right. Libertalia. <laughs> Libertalia! The long lost legendary pirate utopia discovered after 300 years by one Samuel Drake. And? And, and his. Younger, slightly less charming brother who happened to be tagging along for the ride. You know, I always knew you'd make something of yourself one day. <laughs> yeah, just so you know, it's not my first lost city. You should, you should just enjoy the moment. So, where you want to start? How about that building right over there? Oh, 
You mean the one with the massive guard tower? Yeah. I say we go see what it was guarding. Works for me. This is... I mean... All right, fancy friends. Well, we had a pretty intense action sequence there. We regrouped with Sam, and we discovered Libertalia. So I'm going to call that a success. Thank you for joining me this week. I'll see you next time. And remember the rules. Fancy hats only.